My name is Tanae Weller, and I am the Executive Director for High Expectations Parental Service. This short presentation is designed for parent leaders, school staff, and community partners. It walks through the what, why, and how of a family-friendly school walkthrough. So what is the family-friendly school walkthrough? It is a physical walkthrough of a school building to assess how welcoming the school environment is. The family-friendly school walkthrough process is an opportunity to acknowledge the great things that your school is doing to make families feel welcomed. It is also an incredible opportunity to identify areas for growth. The walkthrough is a tool to assess how others see your school and how they feel when they're there. The tool assesses the personal interactions with the school staff, the physical environment, written materials and communication, and school-wide practices and policies. It is not a report card, but simply a tool to determine where you are on the road to partnership. It has been adapted from the New Jersey Perk Family Friendly Walkthrough and the Harvard Graduate School of Education Pre-K through 12 Parent Survey. The Family Friendly School Walkthrough assesses what families hear, see, and feel when they are in your school. The tool is very practical and actionable. You should expect the tool to surface the wonderful things you're doing, and you should expect it to surface your school's areas for growth. This tool should be completed by a team of three to four parents or guardians. We also highly recommend that three to four school and family community staff members complete the walkthrough as well. Families will complete the walkthrough over a period of two to three hours. Staff members may complete it as they move throughout their workday. We have found it to be more effective when each person completes the walkthrough independently. In the near future, your school will review the results and determine the actions you can take to improve your school environment. Families are a school's customers. So let's say you walk into a grocery store and you feel welcomed and important. You're going to frequent that store. If you walk in and you don't feel welcomed, you're likely to limit your visits in the future or not even visit at all. Creating a welcoming environment is the first step to relationships that lead to partnerships, that lead to increased student outcomes. But when families don't feel welcome, they don't come. When they don't come, we lose opportunities to partner. When we can't partner, our most vulnerable students do not reach their full academic potential. What a family observes in our school leads them to draw conclusions about how the school feels about them and their children. What they observe leads them to draw conclusions about the core beliefs of our school. These conclusions become their truth, whether they're true or not. If we can change a family's experience when they enter the school, then the conclusions they draw can be positive. Changing your school environment is only the first step, but it is an essential step on the road to partnership. So how do we complete the family-friendly school walkthrough? The principal and the parent leader or leaders should first meet to discuss the family-friendly school walkthrough tool and plan for the walkthrough. During the meeting, brainstorm to identify three to four parents or guardians who can also do the walkthrough and determine who's going to reach out to those families. At the same time, you can recruit three to four school and community staff if possible. If you're, unable to, if you're able to include the staff, they should be a part of the orientation. So set up a time to meet with the families and staff for an orientation to explain how to do the walkthrough. This can be a conference call or an in-person meeting. We recommend an in-person meeting but if a conference call is difficult to arrange, that will work as well. Provide the family-friendly school walkthrough tool 
the instruction sheet, and a link to this video so everyone's on the same page. Determine your walkthrough date. Each person and um, can and really should do this on their own. So each person will determine the date that they will do the visit. It helps to ensure authentic responses if you do it individually. Plan for at least two hours for your visit. Try to observe several examples of each area that you're looking at. For example, observe the office staff answering several phone calls rather than just one. Collect as many artifacts and evidence as you can. So you can collect the school newsletter or take a picture of the signs in the hallway, but please do not take pictures of staff and students. Here's an example of how you might complete the walkthrough tool. Let's say you're looking at the office staff and, and whether or not they immediately recognize visitors with a smile and in a friendly and courteous way. So in this area, you gave a four because it exceeded the standards. Here's the evidence you saw. With a few, within a few seconds, you were greeted by the school secretary. She said, good morning, and how can I help you? Another area you observed is whether all visitors are asked whether they need help or not. In this area, you gave it a one because you didn't observe any evidence. When you were in the hallway for 10 minutes, five teachers passed but didn't speak. When you're completing the walkthrough form, you can also make suggestions. For example, if you were observing whether the phones were answered in a friendly and professional way, maybe you gave this area a two because there was some evidence, but it needs work. Your suggestion is, Perhaps the school can have a standard greeting to use when answering the phone. So this is how you would complete the walkthrough tool. Some things to remember. Be careful not to interrupt the day-to-day -day operation of the school. Just act normal. Be careful not to complete the family-friendly school walkthrough form in front of people you're observing. This can be really intimidating. And bring your walkthrough form to the debrief meeting along with the artifacts and evidence that you collected. Thank you so much for taking the time to be a part of your school and to support improved relationships with families.